Hello everyone, welcome to Learn Lifeology. In this video, we are going to talk about the Montmorillonite clay and its role in the evolution of Earth. Montmorillonite clay, which is actually a very soft phyllosilicate, that means sheet silicates, group of minerals that form when precipitate from the water solution as a microscopic crystals. These minerals, they get precipitated from the water solution and resulted into a soft structure which we call the Montmorillonite clay. This spontaneous synthesis of macromolecules on early earth might took place in the presence of this catalyst Montmorillonite. This actually played the role of a catalyst on the early earth for the formation of macromolecules. This Montmorillonite which may have provided a stable dry environment for the synthesis and accumulation of macromolecules into the organic films. Experiments with Montmorillonite clay have shown it to be an excellent catalytic surface and later these macromolecules got converted into a simple cell. When we talk about the chemical structure of this clay, it is consisting of or it is a member of smectite group which is actually twist to one clay that it is having a two tetrahedral sheets of silica sandwiching a central octahedral sheet of alumina that is twist to one. The structure here it can be in, explained in detail. You can see the sheet structure and how the alumina and silica they are sandwiched. The red color dots which are of uh, hydrogen and yellow colors you can see the silicons. They are forming along with the oxygen they are forming a silica layer and in center the black color dots which are of aluminum along with the oxygen they are forming an alumina layer. So two silica they are sandwiching one alumina and in between two flat sheets uh, there is a water molecules or uh, the exchangeable cations which is providing a soft structure to, uh, to this Montmorillonite clay. Montmorillonite clay when we talk about the experimental proof of this clay as a catalyst there is so there are so many papers and uh, references present on the internet some of which are given here like in 1950s biochemist Sidney Fox and his colleagues found that amino acids were heated in absence of water they could link together to form the proteins in, abs in presence of this clay. In 1990s an experiment showed that the RNA nucleotides can be linked together when they are exposed to clay surface. The clay act as catalyst to form polymer. In presence of fatty acid particles of Montmorillonite clay trigger the formation of small lipids vesicles that appear very much like liposomes. These vesicles have been shown to self enlarge by incorporating more fatty acids and to divide if passed through a small pore filter and later they might have got converted into the cell membrane. So this was all about this Montmorillonite clay. Thank you for watching from Learn Life.